have you ever noticed that why the surface of the earth looks solid from the outside have you ever thought that where do the continents and islands are found today through this topic we will find the answer of all the questions hello and welcome to my channel everyone today in this slide we will discuss about the components of the physical environment or you can say natural environments in detail so first we will like to discuss about the lithosphere we have seen that the word lithos means rocks so hence we can say lithosphere means the surface of the earth which is covered with the rocks and soil now you must be thinking why the soil is introduced here the reason is that when the rocks break into its finer particle and the humus is added to make it more fertile it becomes soil so hence we can say the earth is covered with the rocks and soil and that area will be considered in the category of lithosphere so at last we want to convey you the message that lithosphere is the solid crust and it is hard okay if it is solid definitely it will be hard and it is made up of rocks and in rocks you know that minerals are found okay and also we can say if rocks will be broken into finer particles we can say that soil is also present in the lithosphere and one thing very important that it is an irregular surface means the surface is not same everywhere somewhere it is very highly elevated like mountain somewhere you will find it is table like shape the surface of the land is like a table means first it will raise to the height then you will find it is flat at the top and then the height will decrease means it will give a shape of table that we call plateau now the third one is plains plains means the land surface has no elevation apart from these three you will see other features also like valleys you will find here and so on and now we'll see why our lithosphere is important okay and you know that very well our continents even the ocean floors all are the components of lithosphere only even islands are also present on lithosphere so we can say we used to construct houses buildings you can say even industries factories everything are constructed on lithosphere only apart from that the grazing ground for the animal that is also present on lithosphere even we practice agriculture on lithosphere so hence we can say if the rocks are present on lithosphere we can say that it is also a source of mineral so minerals will be also found on lithosphere and you know very well that minerals are very important for us economically as well as to fulfill our needs when we observe the globe we find that majority of the earth surface is covered with water why the water is so important in our life and what is the role of hydrosphere in our environment so isse samajhne ke liye hum topics ko dekhenge detail mein so let's get into the topic we have already discussed that what does this hydrosphere means means it is a domain of water means that surface of the earth is completely covered with the water maybe it is the part of the earth which is under the river lakes seas ocean etc now one thing i want to tell you that the hydrosphere water is present in all the three forms maybe it can be in solid it can be in liquid or it can be in gaseous state okay now you must be thinking how the water is present in solid form so very simple you can remember the glacier glacier is in the solid form okay that is spread over the arctic or you can say antarctic regions okay 
Now we'll see how the water is available in liquid form. It is very quite common. If you are so observing any sea or ocean, you will see the water is in liquid state. Or you may take the example of our atmosphere. You know that in atmosphere, the water is present and in the form of vapor. Means the gaseous form of water is the moisture in the atmosphere. And the water is very important for each and every organism whether it is human being or plant or animal it is important equally for everyone all animal need water to survive large water bodies have a strong influence on climate as well it keeps the climate very cool the place which is located near that water bodies understood and it maintain you can say a kind of moderate climate too you have heard about land bridge and sea bridge basically that help help those places to keep the climate moderate not only the climate apart from the climate it is also a good source of nutritious food like fish that we find in the water bodies only apart from fish we get several other minerals inside the water body solely just remember about the common salt common salt where it is found okay and you know that if the fish is found in water bodies definitely the people living in those area nearby they will depend on fish for their livelihood so we can say fishing is a livelihood for many people apart from that hydrosphere is also a good source of generating electricity and if we are generating electricity with the help of water we call it hydroelectricity have you ever observed your atmosphere what you will find there air yes so now we can say atmosphere is the blanket of air or layer of air which surrounds our earth atmosphere affect our environment too now we'll see how they affect and how they provide benefit to us in detail do you know that the gravitational force of the earth also holds the atmosphere around it if the atmosphere as we have seen that the layer of air surrounds the earth is called atmosphere this surrounding of the air is only because of the gravitational force if there were will be no gravitational force we can say atmosphere will not able to surround the earth also we know that the atmosphere protect us from the harmful rays of the sun that we call ultraviolet rays also we know that in atmosphere only one gas is not present apart from that air is a mixture of gases not only gases dust particles and water vapor also and we know that among all the gases nitrogen is the most abundant gas as it forms we know that around 78% of the atmosphere it consists of oxygen and do you know how much percentage of oxygen is available 21% by volume it is oxygen and carbon dioxide only 0.03% and all these gases are very important for various organism like for us oxygen is important and for plant carbon dioxide is important and nitrogen is also taken by the green plants so that their growth can be maintained thank you guys for watching this video if you like my video hit the like button subscribe to my channel be learner and share it among your sage sambandhu and dosto